I'm Hannah. Welcome back to my channel, Mostly Paper Crafts. We are only five weeks away from our wedding and I'm so excited to share with you the progress that we've made. I say we, it's really just me. I didn't get to do a six week video because Jared and I were both sick last week. We feel fine now, but I didn't do a lot of crafting and my voice sounded junky and it just, anyway, five weeks. And I have just finished my first of 10 centerpieces. So this video is gonna show you some of the steps that it took to make them and what that first centerpiece looks like. So the main thing that I've been doing, the majority of the work has been die cutting leaves. And you can see here, I have some gold leaves. This is my electric die cutting machine. It's an old evolution advance from We Are Memory Keepers and I love it. And what I was doing is I was running more than one die through the machine at once. So these are from Lawn Fawn. They're still attached the way they originally were. But some of my other dies, I just used some tape post-it note tape there to put them into little clusters so I could do multiples at the same time. Those were from Sizzix and Spellbinders. We have some more here from Sizzix, Spellbinders, and these ferns are from Hero Arts. More from Lawn Fawn. We have some more from Sizzix. I love this big one. This one is from Sizzix as well. I, this one's from Sizzix and this fern is from Hero Art. So you can see how they're taped together so that I could run multiples through at once. And I kept some of this for you just so you could see some of what's left over when you die cut leaves like that. This is all going to go into the trash. And uh, yeah, I just thought it was kind of fun and interesting to shuffle through it so you can see some of the work that happened. So I have all of these leaves cut out and then I am gluing them one by one onto cut wires and I'm separating them into 10 piles because there are 10 different uh, center pieces. So you can see the wire here and my little glue gun. For the green ones, I was not able to use the glue gun so I used some Fairly Art Precision Glue with the thin tip. So that was pretty time consuming to do all those green ones, but I'm moving on to the gold. A couple hours later, I have a bunch more of these leaves done. There's about 20 leaves in each one of these piles. And I did do some gluing of leaves to wires last weekend. So now I'm gonna sort these into those piles. And then I think I can start assembling the centerpieces. I spent three hours tonight gluing leaves to wires and sorting them into these little piles. Each one of these piles is representing one centerpiece, which is three jars. Now I do still have at least one more color that I want to die cut leaves out of. And then I also purchased some mulberry leaves that were pre-cut. Those need cut to the wires, or glued to the wires, excuse me, and then added to the piles. And then once all the colors and textures are in each pile, I can assemble them into the centerpieces, and each centerpiece is going to be three jars. I'm coming to the end of creating my stacks of leaves for the centerpieces, and I just wanted to show you kind of what it looks like as I am putting the leaves on the wires. So I'm doing the gold metallic leaves right now, and I ran these through my die cut machine. That's how I got the leaf shape. And then I am taking these thin, paper covered wires and I'm going to glue it onto the vein of this leaf. I noticed that this little bit at the bottom isn't really useful and kind of gets in the way anyway. So I snip that off. I'm using my Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. I'm gluing all the way down the vein. And then I'm taking my wire, I'm just laying it on there and pressing it into the glue. Since the wire is covered with paper, it does attach really well and it honestly doesn't take very long to dry, just a couple of seconds. And now I've got my leaf on this wire, which can be shaped 
when it's time to put it into the centerpiece. Now this is really long and so I'm gonna trim off some at the end so that I can do another leaf on the shorter piece and then this will wrap on to the other leaves in the arrangement and once they're all wrapped together I'll cover that with some paper floral tape. So yeah I've been doing a lot of painstaking gluing. Uh, it did take a while to get all of the leaves die cut. There are many many, many leaves and um, it's taken many hours to get them all glued on here, but I know that I'm gonna be really happy with the end result. So this is my last metallic one for now. I will have to do more of this when it's time to make my bouquet. I haven't decided exactly which elements I want to put in there yet. I think as I finish my arrangements, it's going to help me figure out what I want um, for that piece. While I was doing my 10 piles for the 10 centerpieces, I was also doing extras that whole time, which are all just in this cup. And these are going to be for the other jars that are sitting around at like the food table, the dessert table, the gift table, all of that stuff. So I do have some extra pieces as well as it's very possible that I won't want to use every single one of these in each of those centerpieces. Um, but I am excited that after I'm done with the centerpieces, I don't have to start completely over to work on those additional decorations. Before I can start putting the arrangements together, I need to put my flowers onto wire. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out each of my three jar sets and I'm gonna measure the wire so that when I put the flowers on top, they're all at the appropriate height because these flowers are going to be wrapped in with the rest of these leaves. And yeah, that's the next step. So I just used a thicker wire for the flowers just to give them some stability. And then I'm gonna separate these into three little stacks, one for the small, medium, and large jar, wrap everything together, and use some floral tape to combine. If you missed it in the first wedding video that I did, I took 50 jars-ish and cleaned them all up, got the labels off, and glued ribbons to them to make them decorated and they're all different. It was a lot of fun. My friend Jamie came over and helped me with that project. So there's plenty of jars to choose from. We did take the time to make sets of three jars that coordinated well together. And that leaves me with 20 extra that I can pick and choose from for the additional decor. I'm just about done with this first arrangement. The last thing I need to do is, I wanna show you how fancy that is. <laughs> All I've done is taken my wires and I have wrapped them with the brown floral tape. So this is what it looks like before. And I'll just wrap that up a bunch just to clean it up a little. And then this first arrangement will be done. So here we have it. The first of 10 arrangements is done. Each one of the arrangements will have one of these wooden table numbers and a large, medium, and small jar. All of the jars are decorated a little different. All the sizes are just a little different. They're all recycled from the kitchen. You can see that's a Prego jar, and this is a, a wee yogurt jar. But I'm really happy with how this came out, and I think they're gonna look beautiful on our picnic tables at the reception. I'm gonna leave you with a view of the remaining piles for my other nine centerpieces. I'm planning to finish those over the next couple of days. I really wanna get the centerpieces done so that I can move on to some of the other items on my list. It was a ton of work, so many steps, so many pieces, but I'm really happy with how that first one turned out. So I know they're gonna be beautiful and I know that it's gonna be worth it. So we'll see you back here next week for an update on the wedding projects.